Adua. Welcome to my vlog. I'm with my husband. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm with Kim. We're doing a little Galentine because it's Actually, a few days. Yes, it's a few days before Valentine, and also it's a few days before his her birthday. A week, ne? Uh, yeah, it's almost uh, her birthday, so we're having a little spa day. Uh, in front Rock, it's so pretty here. Yeah. It's super stunning. Uh, anyway, I'm going back to my friend, guys. I'm not gonna be speak after here. You guys will just experience what is going on because honestly, there is no need for me to be speaking. But anyway, hope you guys are doing well. the last time i'm going to do be doing it for any month guys can you see can you see the exhaustion in my face can you see that my hair is looking really jacked up because i don't have the energy to do it or relax it or diet i am tired this is the last time i'm doing this thing on my vlog and if anyone asks me again i'm going to break my phone because clearly i'm the issue there's something wrong that i'm doing so Finish. I use a red onion. You can literally use whatever onion that you want. It doesn't really matter. Uh, my onion, and I also love adding these. You don't need them. This is just preference. I'm obsessed with these. These sesame seeds and um, what else? What else am I obsessed with? Um, hummus is actually my special right now. So yeah, and then you're gonna use these. Uh, I you also need a green one, but you don't really need it. Like I'm using these two because I don't have a green pepper, and I'm definitely not driving all the way to the shops to get it one green pepper. I'm not doing that. I cannot drive for a bell pepper. I'm not doing that. Thank you guys. You, I, I think I'm tired, guys. She think I'm tired. And then. Uh, you put these at the end and feta cheese there's feta cheese in the fridge and um some bacon i'm using this bacon really because i don't want it to sit here and rot uh you don't really have to use bacon you can use mushrooms um uh, but yeah because there's bacon i'm going to use bacon as my protein um sauce just to add more protein because what are we doing we're trying to be skinny and when you're trying to be skinny what do you do 
you increase your protein intake your fiber intake and you drink a lot of water and just be skinny <laughs> Guys, I'm tired. Hey, I think I stopped myself yesterday, and now the exhaustion is catching up with me. Like I can't even think straight. I'm hot. I'm literally. I feel like I'm getting a fever. But just by it has nothing else to do. But I've been speaking for like four minutes. Let's get into cooking, guys. I actually want to use my fitness pal. Is it fitness pal, guys? Yeah, but that app to basically calculate how much. Calories is each muffin uh, So we can see also we can because I'm trying to count calories. I'm not doing it very strictly But I'm trying but like it's not that important and also um, I want to see someone asked me if you can make these in the air fryer. I think you can uh, if your muffin tin can fit or you have a, a pan that can fit in there. I think you can do it um i'm going to be roasting it on the stop stove top because last time i did that and i actually loved loved uh the fact that you can actually do that because i feel like i've shown you how to do it in the oven so i guys no ways should i go take a nap before doing this because what is this exhaustion what the hell no um I don't know. Oh, I'm tired, guys. You know what? Let me just go think about what I'm going to do and just chill for five minutes. Keep going, guy, because you know, I'm correcting. Let me just go. Let me go relax for five minutes. Like, let me just take a 30 minute break. I'll come back and I'll do this because they are pale. Guys, I promise I have a chopping board and uh, I just don't like it. I also man, also man, also man. It's, it's giving BBL. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Guys, I actually have had this waist trainer for so long. I don't know why I wasn't using it, but gay. Sila Pangok. Silapa, what's that lady's name, Joanne? <laughs>
dolphins they look hella shady today i feel like it's those dodgy eggs but they didn't smell bad so i assume that the eggs are fine but this is how they look they are scrumptious and i know they smell and look okay they don't look delicious <laughs> but they smell good but as you can see 12 eggs egg muffins with just six eggs and 200 grams of bacon i just made the big mac salad because i am running away from the temptations of going to buy a big mac it's not healthy please do not uh reference me this is just it's a salad because there's no bread uh but essentially it's a big mac uh, i'm going to be eating that um also i'm just so tired guys i don't think i'm gonna meal prep honestly i also used romaine lettuce instead of iceberg because you know when you watch too much social media everyone says you can't eat anything like they'll be like no don't eat eggs You're drinking water but you know don't drink water social media is getting so toxic guys everything is so toxic but um the, the thing that's irritating me about the romaine is that it's better like romaine lettuce is very better compared to iceberg iceberg is really nice i enjoy iceberg but um let me show you my bodega ghetto salad <laughs> but it actually really does taste like a big mac guys uh, but i just got a package guys let me open i know what it is it's from cadbury my cadbury family you remember back in the days when influencers like were still like getting when influencers used to get press jobs like all the time or maybe they still do maybe i just don't get press jobs that much but uh also one thing about me i don't like working for food <laughs> okay let's do it not grab me but my cadbury family uh, has sent me Tala! came in this purple box and they gave me some chocolate it's true my family like everyone in the house wants it my kids want it my husband is asking for it i also want to taste guys like i feel like i deserve to eat something nice today yes guys oh, i've been eating healthy for so long the cartel so basically um so but in the same cadbury taste new bigger blocks i think the blocks are bigger so usually yeah the blocks were quite small but now they have i think bigger boxes which is quite nice if you like chocolate uh but let me finish watching my show and go eat and share this with my kids and my husband See you, my dog is literally receding. <laughs> I'm tired of trying to fix this dog, honestly. When I tell you that I forgot that I had um, an eyelash for appointment and it literally just started raining. My son just started vomiting for no damn reason. I have the worst heartburn. I actually think it's something that we ate. Uh, yeah, my day is basically in shambles. I'm so tired guys. I'm so tired of being stressed. Like I don't wanna lie. Yo, the Agoa guys. I'm going to break out of this. Yeah, God. Like guys, I wish I wish someone could just come play my life. Honestly, like wow, I'm so tired of being stressed. Like last week my my son was throwing up. I got sick. Now it's my other son. I mean, you know what, guys? Also, being a mom here hey, is so draining. Like, it's a beautiful thing, but yet so draining because what the fuck, guys? Like, no one prepares you for things like these. I know I'm going off. Also, what the fuck is wrong with this weather? Like, I'm so annoyed. They go right to like a few minutes ago. I'm just quickly rushing to my appointment. I thought I was gonna make it by half past, but yeah. I'm now like officially 30 minutes late. Disgusting, honestly. But let me quickly go to my lash appointment. Hopefully, it's not gonna be long because I have a meeting in, in two hours. Oh, my son. I'm back home. Um, 
Oh, guys, I have so much going on today. Like, I literally have so much going on today. Dineng lagi of becoming o auntie. Dineng lagi of just being a mom and I'm overwhelmed. Dineng lagi of also, like, not taking care of myself. And I feel like I'm pouring in so much to everyone. And I'm just, like, I'm feeling empty. I am feeling very empty. And it's actually so weird. Also, I have a package. Let me just take this package and see what it is. morning <laughs> it's definitely the next day guys it is the next day i'm still trying to figure out into looking in the lens this lens to be precise because it's so small overlooking here because sometimes when i edit i look my eyes look a bit crazy but anyway morning bagatua. hope you guys are well i have a confession to make before we even start didn't say bye yesterday because my ass was busy binging on the wife <laughs> <laughs> and over and above watching the wife the abomination of me watching the wife i am here to shamefully retract my statement of saying that i was boycotting the show I'm not gonna watch it anymore because it's trash I actually started watching it yesterday is it yesterday binged on it the whole day after i came back from my lash appointment and when i tell you i actually enjoyed it and i'm going to finish some uh, of the i'm gonna watch the episodes the half left basically the leftover of the episodes today if i have time because i have some work to do but guys i actually love it like i love it so much but uh yeah oops but uh one thing about me i wouldn't lie to you guys and i will not hide if i did something and it was wrong i will let you know i was wrong for prejudging the wife and also shame sorry to wise men i'm so sorry to that man because i literally and deemed him unfit for playing Kele. And I look if he like he is good and I I wanna say that he's better because he's less he's less animated and comical um and more serious and it, it like it looks natural to him. I think the other Mkele was like overdoing it if that makes sense like I think maybe because he's not also very well spoken i'm not well spoken how can i say it? he's not very zulu likewise man i don't know maybe i'm just uh, maybe i'm just it's my opinion guys it's my opinion i also hate like criticizing if i haven't done or played or you know i don't want to constructively criticize if i haven't constructed anything but this is my opinion guys like i love the show actually enjoying wise men also maybe because uh, it's not really about them this season. It's about Naledi and Kawe. Maybe that's why I'm not really paying much to. But he's he's actually doing such a great job. And Ashim, you know what? Sorry that he had to leave. And I'm so sorry for Mandisa and Opunoba to leave because I really wanted to watch their part of the show. Like, I just wanted to see how their love story went down. But thoroughly enjoying Kawe and Naledi. Love it. I'm in love. My skin looks really good. <laughs> I was doing my skincare <laughs> and uh, I would just wanted to show you. I saw, like, I thought it was a good idea. I don't know if I should. Actually, guys, oh my god, I'm rambling. Actually, please let me know if you guys want me to do like sit down videos where I share like things like my wish list, uh, my like now i'm about to share my empties and things that i'm gonna repurchase and purchase should i do a sit down where like it's formal sit down 
or should I um, just include it in the vlog? I feel like it's so much easier for me because now I don't have to dress up and wash and do this and do that for when it comes to the vlog. Uh, I can do it whatever, whenever I feel comfortable. Like right now I feel comfortable. I just need to brush out my lash. Uh, but you guys tell me what you prefer. And maybe we might have two uploads a week. But eh, and Funugun Tim, besides guys, one thing about two uploads for me, it's gonna finish me. It's really just gonna finish me. I don't wanna lie. Like Gikatele, I'm tired. So let me know what you guys prefer. But I'm actually about to share some empties beauty products, not specifically to one category. But uh, skincare, perfume, first of all, my Coco Chanel Mademoiselle is finished, heartbroken. Sadly, my helper threw out the, the glass bottle, but I'm sad. Uh, I'm definitely going to repurchase that because that's one of my, um, what do you call it, signature scents. I'm not really a scent person, guys, and like, I, I want to smell good, but like, Perfume is not my, it's it's really just not my thing. Also, it gives me a headache. So I just put it on just to be a decent human being. I don't want to lie. Uh, but I really, I'm, I'm also very specific on the perfumes that I like. Like I'm not one who, I, I'm not going to have a million perfumes. Uh, it's not going to happen. It's actually not going to happen. Then I uh, started using this last year. And I think this is, oh my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is the Eucerin Hyaluron Filler. Oh my god. I'm definitely purchasing this. This, I feel like, is the reason why my skin looks like this. Okay, it's not only the reason. But honestly, oh my god. Oh my god. I hope it's not expensive because I think I got this in the press drop. I hope it's not a f it's expensive because I love this product. And my other hyaluronic product that finished is my Vici. I had a bigger bottle. It finished and then... I used my travel size bottle, which is this one. I love this product, but I don't need it. I don't know if I'm going to repurchase it or not. I love it, but I don't need it. Does that make sense? I love it, but I don't need it. Uh, and then another Eucerin uh, product. Oh my God, the sunscreen. I was using the Nivea age that that yellow sunscreen you guys know i used to love that sunscreen it just happened to start irritating my skin skin i don't know what happened like but my skin would be like almost like itchy when i put it on and i and then what happened was and i then went on a campaign for the sunscreen last year started using this and when i tell you she is finished she is finished and she is so good this is so good like look at my skin guys i literally am fighting for my life luckily yesterday when i grabbed this dog uh i was like oh my god it's in that box open the box and i found another one so happy i'm going to be using that other one and i'm probably if it finishes i'm going to repurchase it because one thing about me when it comes to sunscreen i like sticking to one sunscreen i don't know why i look so crazy but i keep on looking at the monitor and i feel crazy maybe it's my lashes anyway and then the other product that is an empty that i repurchased is the Susurin, um even pigment perfecta oh my god Oh my god, she is pricey. She's like 700 rand if I'm not mistaken. Very pricey, but so damn good. Guys, I'm going to do a whole video on how I cleared my hyperpigmentation. I feel like last year, you guys, when I sat here and I did my makeup with you guys, the hyperpigment the hyperpigmentation, you could not miss it. Like you couldn't miss my hyperpigmentation. I mean it's still there, but it's so much better. I started getting hyperpigmentation when I was pregnant with my first son, and from there on has it's just been a battle. It doesn't really bother me at all because like sometimes I do wear makeup when I be on when I wanna be presentable. But when I tell you that this and other products that I've been using have been helping me look like this, guys, oh my god oh my god and then this belongs to my kids because mine i've thrown it out already but this is this e45 cream 
One thing about me, I am a dry skin girl. I struggle with dry skin. It's just it young stressa and especially on my body i mean i feel like my face i've got things under control but my body is always like very tricky and when i say this i don't know if it's gonna work for me in the winter but during the summer times and when it was hot this thing is not sticky and it actually moisturizes and absorbs into your skin so quickly when i tell you when i tell you that i love this thing so much love it definitely going to repurchase either today or tomorrow we need to go to the shops to go get mine uh and then i wanted to show you i got a wig we're gonna we're gonna put on this wig in the next vlog but i just want to show you i'm so excited today's plan was for me to wear a wig i was supposed to wear a wig but the sun is coming out and i'm just like oh no love me here darling one thing about me i'll work with love me here i will work with them because i trust them if there's ever a time where you want to ask my nail where to get hair, please, the answer is love me. So, sorry, my, uh, the space of my camera ran out. I literally have two minutes. And I'm too lazy to go downstairs to go get another thing. But this is the Yaki Straight. Uh, it has the natural hair uh, edges. I mean, they look a bit crazy. But one style, I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me just try to do this but this is how it looks and this is a full lace so we're gonna we're gonna work on this in my next vlog and when i tell you i'm excited because um oh guys i'm so excited for this because this looks great number one and one thing about love me hair the hair quality is it's too good this is probably the only wig i'm gonna be wearing this next coming winter because one thing about me i hate changing my hair like it's just not my thing um if i could wear my hair the same my whole life i would but i'm just kind of giving my hair some um uh, time to rest because i've been relaxing it too much uh and it's getting cold now so i really don't want to relax my hair let me just quickly grab quickly, let me quickly show you my meal preps um one thing about me, I'm lazy, but I need to get shit done. <laughs> One thing about me, let me actually... So, I've prepped these carrots. I'm gonna put some in the meal prep and some we're gonna eat today. This is a lot of carrot, guys. I think it might look like it's not enough, but it's a lot. Uh, that's chicken breasts. Uh, that's chicken breasts for me and my husband. I was watching some vlogs. And this is fish, this is the one pro so I have two proteins. I have another chicken that's going in the oven for me, my husband, preps, and for the whole family. One thing about me, I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone. And the only thing that I'm left with, let me show you. Making my I'm making my own idea of what jollof is. I'm not really making jollof guys, I'm just making a tomatoey, peppery uh, rice. Uh, I'm also gonna put that in milk press and we're gonna eat that today. And, and what I'm left with is just to um, do green, green beans and broccoli. And I'm gonna make them in one big pot, share them amongst our milk crepes and also share them amongst us today. One thing about me, I can just Rest and I'm tired and I actually want to go watch the wife like so I'm gonna put the chicken in the oven thing about turmeric and paprika they will dye your nails recently did my nails you know i would i had just done the base of my nails and i was like oh my god like my intention was to do french uh, a french tip let me just put you higher my whole intention was to do a french tip guess Anna. 
But honestly, I am so bored because I feel like everyone is doing the French. And I mean, I don't have an issue, but I was just like really bored. And I was like, should I do them plain like I did last time? But I was like, you know what? Let me play with some color. I feel like I'm usually wearing muted clothes. Uh, I'm wearing muted clothes a lot. So uh, maybe I should just play with color regarding my nails. And I was like, oh my God, I'm always playing it safe with my nails. Let me just do the color. But as you can see, I mean, it's not bad. The, what you call it? The, the paprika and the turmeric that I put in my fake jug of, uh, <laughs> has ruined my nails. But anyway, I'm doing now. And I feel like it'll wash out, mainly on this side. Can you guys see? Also, my nails are so cute. My husband hates it. My, ha my husband hates like childishy things, if that makes sense. My kids love them and I love them too. So pretty. Pretty. Mmm, <laughs> juicy. It looks really nice. It's really moist, guys. I forgot to put bay leaves and I actually have bay leaves. It's so weird. But it's liberated, but it doesn't matter. I just was craving a very tomato -y rice. It's a lot. But because I am meal prepping some of it, can't wait. Hi, Ma. I didn't have a national degree in Koba Zanga Zamai. Why am I for six to Zamai for two weeks? Rise. 